Maple Leafs lost again in game four. But it's okay. We had the return of William Nylander and it started off with an absolute bang. First shift blows a tire. Mitch Marner, he needs to play piss more often. Like during the game, he was trash. But once he got yelled at by Willie and Matthews, he decided to start playing. Stopped figure skating. He actually wanted to play. And you know, nice goal. He scored a nice individual goal. But we need to see more pucks to the net. There's no way in the last seven minutes of the game, we only had one shot. Down two in the third. Game four. Just need to start throwing pucks to the net. Boston was blocking a lot of shots, but you just need to find a way. Just play faster. Instead of taking so long to release it, just throw pucks to the net. You never know. Some odd balance might go in. Leafs cannot enter the offensive zone. Boston's just... Every break in the, the Leafs are trying to do, like the four check, it's just not working. They need to go to the drawing board and find some new ways to enter because trying to like skate, drop it back at the halfway line and get one person to just go over the blue line and pass it across is not working. And it's getting stopped every time. It is a good thing that <laughs> the boys were yapping at each other because they need to get fired up. There's no shot at home. They just lost two. And in the fashion, the second period was a joke. Those were honestly so awful. There's no effort at all. No heart. No one cares. And also the, the fans. I don't really understand why it's still playoffs and your team is down. You need to encourage them. You can't start booing. The fans need to start cheering in the arena. Like, they need to at least, or like, pump artificial noise, something. Please and thank you. <laughs> Miss call to possibly fi be five on three with the Brad Marchand slash. You know what's odd to me? Buddy's always in the middle of some type of scrum or there's always plays of Brad Marchand doing like quote unquote dirty plays, but no penalties. This guy in the series, after four games, has zero penalty minutes and I can count at least 12 opportunities that could have been penalties, which is mind boggling to me, but what can you do? Max Domi's penalty, the cross check on Pasternak really made no sense. He had three, three on two in the corner, outnumbered the Bruins. Look kind of soft, but you still can't do that. You can't just put yourself in an opportunity to give the referee an opportunity to give a call. You just can't put yourself in that type of situation. You need to be able to, I don't know, keep your cool and not just give away these dumb little tiki tacky penalties. It's just like, Oh my goodness, so frustrating. Same with the Nylander. Nylander's penalty was dumb. DeBrusque had no stick. He was skating back. The worst that would happen, you just have to recycle and exit the zone. He wasn't gonna spring anybody on a breakaway. So it made no sense. It just made no sense. And then it just killed the vibe because they were pouring it on 30 seconds when Edmondson, Edmondson had two shots on net. Both got saved by Swayman. And then for their third goal with uh, BJ Brody, not much you can do other than defend properly. But I guess the, the four other defenders... Went a little too far and, and forgot their defensive responsibilities, but you can't lose focus at the, in the last minute of the period. I feel like this is like the second or third goal where Bruins scored in the last couple seconds, or sorry, last minute. You just can't lose your focus, especially in game that's supposed to be close or a must-win game. It should be locked in the whole time. Depressing, depressing, depressing. Anyways, that was atrocious, at least the second period. The third period was a little better. They were actually started skating, but that was also too little too late. Start skating since the beginning and just keep going. If they don't find a way to win this series, I feel like the team's getting split up, or at least the quote-unquote core four. It's going to be a reinvention of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let me know in the comments, if the boys don't win the series, how do you think the team's going to get shaped up? Like, who's going to get traded? What's going to happen? Let me know in the comments. It's been a slice as always, and uh, thanks for watching. Depressing.